So, uh, you know, we talk about how the Trump administration has more turnover than a third-party pyramid scheme, uh, which is true. The Trump administration has seen tons and tons of turnover, and well, guess what? They're seeing a little bit more. Let's check out this article, shall we? Trump's top economist, Kevin Hassett, will depart. He was tired of giving economic reports to the president, having to use connect the dots and paid by numbers to explain it to him. Uh, all right, here we go. Kevin Hassett, he's bouncing. There, he, look, he's waving. He's waving. Kevin Hassett, the chairman of the White House Council of Economic Advisors, has often been a voice inside the administration for a more traditional conservative view of trade. What are the other voices saying? <laughs> this guy has a conservative view on how we should do things like trade, you know, like, as opposed to the more progressive views. What are those? Where are the progressive economic views in any issue in the Trump administration? Please, somebody tell me. Where are they? Uh, this Kevin Hassett guy, we're, we're losing a conservative voice in the Trump administration. I don't know how we'll survive. We need that diversity. <laughs> that diversity of a white dude saying conservative shit. We do not have that much <laughs> in the Trump administration. Said nobody ever. All right, but, uh, but here's Kevin. Uh, Kevy H was what his friends called him. I, I, I don't know if that's true. All right, so the chairman of the White House Council of Economic Advisors, this Kevin Hassett guy, he's bouncing. And Donald Trump said that's happening on Sunday. Uh, winnowing another advocate of traditional conservative positions on trade from the ranks of Mr. Trump's advisors. Mr. Hassett has not publicly telegraphed an intention to leave, but he said in an interview on Sunday night that he had discussed the move with the president last week and that it was not related to trade policy or any other contentious issue in the White House. Sure. Yeah, sure it's not. It's just normal circle of life kind of things. <laughs> right? Dude, bro, it's just, it's just like circle of life stuff, you know, man? Like, I mean, I got on this ride doing economic stuff for like a proto-fascist in the White House. And then I was like, dude, like my aura is just not lining up anymore, bro. And I'm, I'm just... I'm just ready to do other things, man. I think I might go surfing. I might like um I might do some stuff for a nonprofit, you know, like I might I might try to help hungry people throughout the world, man. I mean that's just the natural it's just circle of life, dude, you know? Like you just let it happen. Like some people they wake up with an agenda. I wake up and I'm just like, what's happening for me? You know, like what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen in the world? I just wanna let it in. Trump would be like, hey, how's the economy? I got to know because I got to say some stuff on TV. Blah. And I'd be like, dude, I mean, look around you, bro. The birds are chirping. The economy's going, bro. Circle of life. Whoa, economy. Hey, do you want a coffee? That's economy. Bro, like economy is breathing. Kevy H, peace out. All right, let's see what else Kevin is up to. Uh, big Kevy H, just a circle of life. That's what Kevin's saying. Nothing to do with policy disagreements. The president and I are quite friendly. Bro, like I saw into the president's soul, man, and he's like a good guy. Like he has that same soul that George W. Bush had, you know, and I don't mean the soul that was the shoe that hit him in the face. I mean like, like, fuck his heart, man. His heart. And President Trump's the same way, bro. I, I totally got along with him. Uh, he insulted my entire family a few times, I think. But I, I don't even know, man. It might have been Ted Cruz. I'm Kevy H, bro. Just let it in, circle of life. All right, Kevy. Here we go. I'm sure Kevy is nothing like this character I've created for him. Kevin has it, who has done such a... Here's a, here's a tweet from, from, uh, from Donnie T, which is what Kevy H would call Donald J. Trump Donnie T. They, uh, they had that kind of a relationship, I speculate. All right, so Kevin Hassett, who has done such a great job for me in the administration, will be leaving shortly. His very talented replacement will be named as soon as I get back to the U.S. I want to thank Kevin for all he has done. He is a true friend. But he's leaving me because uh, everybody leaves this administration. All right, so a little bit more about Mr. Hassett, the guy who just sort of likes to let life happen. Mr. Hassett was an economist at the American Enterprise Institute, a conservative think tank in Washington, D.C., with the most generic name on the fucking planet. 
American Enterprise Institute. They might as well just call it like Corporate Stuff Inc. <laughs> American Enterprise Institute. What do you do? You could do anything. Enterprise in America. We don't know what the fuck that is. That could be a movie company. That could be a conservative think tank. That could be uh, a really boring band. That could be an album. That could be uh, that could be a band name. That could be a mason jar project where you're just like filling water. Filling mason jars full of water. Being like, let's drink out of these. American Enterprise Institute. What if I, if I, if I worked there, I, w I would have to like, I would need a lot of caffeine because I, I would get tired whenever I just said the name of where I worked. I'd be like, welcome to the American. Oh shit. Did I do that again? I'm sorry. I'm in charge of giving the tours and I just can't like, um, the American enterprise Insta. Shit. Was that me again? I, uh, the American enterprise Institute where we. You know what? Life's too short for this. Let's just go. And then Kevy H comes in. And he's like, bro, totally. I'm with you. Let's just go fishing, man. But like, we're not going to catch the fish. We're going to let the fish catch us. Bro, let's go to the lake. And I'm like, Kevy H keeps this shit in interesting. He's like, I'm going to go work at the White House. And then I'm going to fucking quit, bro. And I'm like, all right. So uh, that's the American Institute. That's what goes on there. Let's get back to this dumb article. Uh, let's see here. All right, so in the administration, he's been a champion of the corporate tax cut that Mr. Trump signed into law in late 2017. Uh, all right, well, that's good. <laughs> we all know that's helped out the economy a lot. All right, and he's defended uh, Mr. Trump's trade policies, uh, and he's often been a voice inside the administration for a more traditionally conservative view of trade, one that pushes to open markets to trade and often opposes tariffs, Mr. Trump's favorite weapons in his disputes with China, Mexico, and other trading partners. And I'm sure there's a big lack of uh, conservative voices in just sort of letting the corporations do what they want and exploit around the world. I'm sure he's one of few people pushing for that inside the Trump administration. All right, so Kevin Hassett's gone. Another, uh, another uh, member of the administration gone in the Trump White House, which again has more turnover than the third party pyramid scheme. But good luck to Kevy H, bro. He's just going to let life happen. Totally. All right. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you want to know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Go through it together and make it our own. Get your 